Yo, what's up, guys? It's Ray here, and today I have another package. Wow! This time it's a CD. That was a bit close. All right. And I think it's like a docum documentary. I'm not too sure. You know, it's kind of weird. Um, so, Midnight Club 3. Um, dub edition. Dub TV. On the floor of the SEMA show with dub. Plus bonus chapter. It looks like it was... It was some tape here. Is it round? Yeah, so regular tape and at the bottom it was made like that I don't know why why anyway so front back the back is mostly just about the game um, it does not say anything about SEMA or whatever if you don't know what SEMA is well I don't have the I think each letter of SEMA means a word. It's like um, showing off the your, your car, you know. It's just, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can see it's just about the game. It's nothing about SEMA or Dub TV. Anyway, I'm going to <clears throat> take this CD out and let's watch it. I don't know how long it is. Holy shit, that's dirty. Look here. What happened? Look, I'm wearing a Instagram t-shirt. GTA 5. I hope I can read it. And there's nothing else inside. So, I'm just going to clean it and let's put this bad boy in the PlayStation 5, alright? Hitting the floor with the SEMA show in Las Vegas with Dub. Bonus chapter behind the scene at, at Dub TV photo shoot. Footage from the Dub Super Series shows. SEMA, or the Specialty Equipment Market Association, is a showcase of the hottest aftermarket auto accessories in the industry. This right here. And this year's SEMA convention is no exception. Now, the latest brands, performance upgrades, multimedia setups, and custom kits. Attracting athletes, actors, and rap stars to the once a year auto exhibit. If I had this car right here, I'd probably hit the strip, drive around, act like I was Magnum P.I. or something like that, man. It's a show where the world's most creative designers show off their most innovative designs. That's what this show's all about. Who's the best? Who's the biggest? Who has the who has the best toys? And by far, I do. They got everything out there, man. Rims. Ladies and gentlemen, the first 28-inch rim. Vegas is known for its glitz, its glamour. It's mammoth hotels, it's mega casinos, and dreams of striking it rich. But when the SEMA convention is in town, the real treasure trove is right here. All the accessories for cars, we're talking about from rims, to paint, to interior, TVs, the whole shot. Anything that, that goes on with a car, or a truck, or anything like that, um, it's going to be at the SEMA show. And what we have is one of our feature vehicles here in our booth at the SEMA show, 2003 Hummer H2. This belongs to the rapper exhibit. This is a 20-inch strong TIS-03, 28-inch wheel. Yo, the 28 rims, you know what I'm saying? This is the first 28-inch wheel in the aftermarket that's right now ready for production. They tell me I gotta wait till June or July before I get them. I don't know if I can wait that long. Two key features of this uh, wheel is the fact that we have a 
deep lip style, which we call the fat lip technology, and the fact that we have the size actually identified on the cap of the rim. So you actually know exactly what size to do without having to second guess. And the 20 inches long line isn't the only rim in Vegas worth mentioning. Rim and wheel companies from all over the planet are showcasing their latest and greatest wheels for SUVs, passenger cars, luxury rides, sports cars, and even the small and economical. Hi, I'm Oscar Peretta. I'm with VF Goodrich Tires, and we're here at SEMA, and I'm responsible for developing high-performance tires. Uh, we have some here that I'm really, really excited about. It's the world's first four-compact dub. What that means is this is the first 20-inch tire that develops specifically for sport compact. We're the first to come out with a 24 inch tire. What's exciting here is we go to the other end of the market, the smallest car sold in North America, the Mini. Uh, it's also exciting because there's not a lot of kids out there with an H2. So here's an opportunity for a kid with a, like a Honda Civic or even like a Mini to be able to participate in this dope lifestyle thing uh, with, with, with a cool tire. The beauty of this vehicle is the subtlety of the accessories, which you have the custom chrome grille, uh, custom mirror, and the custom chrome, door handle, and step bar. The interior, custom leather and suede interior. We have a custom audio bond, audio visual system in here with the TVs and the headrest. And uh, one other feature is the sound system. What we have here is a customized audio bond 8,000 watt system. As you can see, this is the top of the line. And who better to show it off than exhibit himself? It's like having a nice watch. It's like having a, a, a you know, it's, it's, it's a possession, but then it's a part of you. I think it has a lot to do with my personality. As you're driving down the street, it, it, it elevates you to, I hate to say it, but to a certain status, to a certain feeling of making it. It's like, you know what? Amazing. I think it's the attention, man. You know, all eyes are on you at this point, you know what I'm saying? Being musicians and everything, so you gotta shine whatever you do. It's called fast. marketing. Yeah, yeah. Fast cars do it, man. Fast cars bring all the attention to you all day long. Shaquille O'Neal loaned a couple of his prize rides in the form of his custom Superman Edition Escalade on 24s and a hot Lambo like no other. This is a Lamborghini, which belongs to Shaquille O'Neal. Now you wonder, how could a man that big fit in a car this small? They work it out, man. They figure it out some kind of way. Um, you, got, you got engineers here that can just about do anything with a car. Shaq isn't the only NBA star sporting a custom car. Atlanta Hawks forward Chris Mills had his hard-to-miss personalized Lamborghini on display. And another ball player not only brought out his custom whips, he builds them too. Now, this is a freewheel racing vehicle. It is owned by the basketball player that trusts freewheel. He does, he has a, 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 a couple of specialty shops that, that, that do cars. These shops are run by none other than another brother named Spree. I hold all the cars down for him and keep our name real nice. That they can say that uh, Spree, well, he's doing pretty good on the court and he's doing it off the court. We're pretty much a customizing shop. Uh, we deal a lot in uh, wheels and tires and body kits and uh, pretty much do uh, high-end cars like Mercedes, of course. And of course, the Lamborghini, as you can see here. And they do some really, really good work. We want to be known as one of the best shops around. And this is the Spreewell car. This is his actual car that belongs to him. When people see a lot of the celebrities with a lot of the nice wheels, and, you know, the body kits, um, especially the Mercedes. I mean, that's one of our main sources of the cars. So uh, we do those. It's like all the celebrities got to see that. Spreewell's got the hot cars, so they have to have the hot car too. Billy says it all, y'all know what that is. It's basically, this is every CEO's dream. So what type of ride does Pusha T prefer? Right now, we're checking out the Range Rover. This joint is real special right now, because they got alligator fins. I think it's the alligator, I don't know, it looks like it bites, but whatever it do, it does bite. And then the rims are like striated or something, but it's sort of, it's, it's reminiscent of the same texture as the fins, man, it's crazy. This is a serious ride right here. Crazy, man. Dope 
right next door, Exhibit is looking to expand his collection, and he's eyeing one of the rarest rides on the street. This right here, King of the Future. <laughs> Okay. You wife's like Kobe Y. We sort of like Goldie Y. Twister, you told him why. I can make you a celebrity go over the line. It's Twister in the house, y'all. And you watching Dub TV. Now I could tell from back in the days when we were shawties in the hood That you was gonna rock to be thick as hell and looking good Now you're 24 and then the thighs ain't no pump Looking fine as hell like a penny jump up in the trunk Try to get you what you want, put that booty on the club Feel when you get the party club, feel when you twerk it in the club Feel when you get down on the floor, feel when you get down on the floor What's cracking y'all? What's cracking y'all? What's cracking? The 300C is off the chain, especially when you get the dub edition. You will never find another one like this. That bad roll like a 24. 20 see you make that bad roll like a 24. 20 Charlie make that bad roll like a 24. 20 see you make that bad roll like a 24. 20 what up, man? This is Ludacris, and you are watching Dub TV. That's how we roll. Dub TV. 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 D
superstar in the car, people try to figure out. Got you in the back seat, make it rock till shots squeak. We're freaking the parking lot spot till cops creep. You wanna ride? I wanna know how it feels inside. Rope ain't the base, so you feel it side to side. Shift in the fifth, so she quickly reached down. She needs more speed now. I know you wanna hold it, but it's hard to control it. I drive it like I stole it, drive it like I stole it. Push it till I roll it, and somebody gotta tow it. I drive it like I stole it, drive it like I stole it. I know you wanna hold it, but it's hard to control it. I drive it like I stole it, drive it like I stole it. Push it till I roll it, and somebody gotta tow it. I drive it like I stole it, drive it like I stole it. And this is it for today. Dub TV. I don't think I can show that. Can you see? There we go. Dub TV. <laughs> you can see shit. Anyway. Hope you enjoy.